What the fuck? Wop in YouTube! Rival game in here! <laughs> what is going on, everyone? It's your rifle here. And in today's video, I have you a pretty, I guess we can say, heartwarming story. Yeah, I know. You guys didn't come here for no heartwarming story. You came here for the freaking exotic scout rifle fate of all fools. Which I'll be showing some leaked images of it in game at the end of this video. Not to mention a review on the perks it has as well. It actually has some pretty interesting perks that are awesome. The perks is what makes this weapon. But first I wanted to share with you this incredible story and it's only going to take a few minutes of your time. And it's pretty freaking awesome. Let me just say that much. I mean, it's not awesome what this guy's going through, but it's just awesome how the community just helps each other out. Still shows there's actually some genuine people still left out there. First, I just wanted to say that someone has finally gotten this weapon now. And that person that got it recently had brain surgery. And the person that had brain surgery, believe it or not, got recommended that he should play Destiny as a form of mental therapy. And let's just say without his supporting wife, this guy wouldn't have got the Fate of All Fools exotic scout rifle. His supporting wife decided to write a long Reddit post explaining about the doctor's recommendation for Destiny. I'll have a link in the description of what she exactly wrote, but here is a few things to show that his condition was pretty serious. And it's pretty awesome that he was recommended to play Destiny for his mental therapy. This guy has had seven brain surgeries in the last 11 months, three of which involved actively removing sections of this guy's brain. Now that's some serious stuff, guys. The fifth brain surgery was actually about three months ago. So get that in mind. He had seven in total, and the fifth one was three months ago from around the time this video was released. But the fifth brain surgery he had, they took a large section of his brain. Let's just say for a while, he didn't even know his own wife. And he only sometimes knew even who he was. But right as soon as he was once again starting to have things back together, he developed an infection. His wife spent the first week of Queen's Wrath playing on a Vita in his hospital room. And you know, also comforting him and being by his side. But anyways, during those two surgeries and while she was waiting, he had gotten a titanium plate. A goodly sized piece of his skull was too infected to try and save. She said in her post, no worries there. He thinks having a titanium plate is awesome. Which hey, if it's doing him good, then it is awesome. Anyways, I know, what does any of this have to do with Destiny? Well, during all of that happening, he still wanted to play it. He agonized more over his surgery day interfering with the release than about having to have surgery in the first place. He wanted it badly enough that two weeks ago he described the game in detail to his wonderful neurologist. And get this guys, his neurologist told him and his wife that video games have been showing tremendous use as a physical training tool for brain and memory damage. Now just reel that in, that's freaking awesome. I've noticed video games can help you read better if you turn on the subtitles and you're used to reading so much on video games. But for a physical training tool, that's freaking awesome. I mean, now that I think about it, it does make sense too. And if it doesn't make sense, well here are nine ways video games can actually be good for you. This is on a Huffington post, and I'll have a link in the description to these facts. All right, here's how they did one of their studies. Okay, so German researchers performed a study and they asked 23 adults of the age of 25 to play Super Mario 64 for 30 minutes a day over a period of two months. And a separate group did not play video games at all. Examining the brains of the two groups using an MRI machine, they found that the gaming group had a rise in gray matter in the areas of the brain responsible for spatial navigation, memory formation, strategic planning, and fine motor skills in the hands. That's just one fact, guys, and there is many more on this article if you're interested in reading it. It helps dyslexic kids read better. It can be a pain reliever. Call of Duty can actually improve your eyesight. Video games can be as effective as one-on-one -on -one counseling. They can help stroke victims more fully recover. Strokes are very scary, too. I've never had one, but I've had someone close to me have one. And let's just say she wasn't herself after she had the stroke. And also, two more facts on here. StarCraft may make you smarter and video games may slow the aging process. Now that right there is crazy, and that study was done in the University of Iowa. I don't know guys, it's a pretty interesting article and I'll have that article in the description for you all to check out. Since I'm on the topic, might as well throw some factual information at you guys. But anyways, let's get back to this story. Let's just say his therapy has been going for a little over a week now. And the game's effect on him has actually been so strong, he was weak for months. And now he is doing good, not only in the game world, but he's also going out more, doing chores, making jokes. I mean, that's some awesome results, and I'm supporting this all the way. I hope he does get better. 
That's the reason why I'm even making this video and letting you guys know about this. This is just awesome, I think. And also, even the effect of him playing the game has changed his mood a lot. Like, he's a lot happier now. Some of you are like, well, duh, he's playing freaking Destiny. And then again, some of you are like, what the hell? Destiny sucks. I know. I know what you guys think sometimes. But there are some downfalls about this therapy. Let's just say he gave raiding a try the other day, and he finds communicating with strangers difficult. Even something as simple as stating that he is stuck inside the portal was too much for him the other day. And man, this is why you should not just mess with random people online. Like, you know, talk shit to random people right here. You don't know what kind of effect it has on them. Because his wife also stated in the article, one or two of his fire team members were getting frustrated with him, and then let's just say it bummed him out pretty bad. And you gotta think, he's playing for hours on end. It's gotta be pretty exhausting for him. But they came to an agreement that for 10 or so days into playing, the results that they have seen are not bad. Not bad at all. So yeah, basically he's going to run into a few dickheads here and there. But for the most part, it seems like his therapy is going well, and I hope it continues to go well. And hey man, this goes to you. If you ever watch this video, and I hope you do one day, I wanted to let you know about this quote that helps me, and that hopefully helps you out too. The quote's from Lance Armstrong. And it says, pain is temporary. It may last a minute, or an hour, or a day, or even maybe a year. But eventually it will subside, and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. These little quotes help me out, or motivational videos help me out. So hopefully it helps you out, man. I also have a bunch of my favorite motivational videos in the description for you to check out. And as well as the audience, for you guys actually taking the time and listening all the way through this. If you ever need some motivation, check out the videos in the description. But anyways, to wrap this up, his wife made this post, and Bungie saw the post and contacted her. And they said a care package is on the way here from Bungie for Eric. And she had said this, And for a household as geeky as ours, this is a sort of equivalent of a major sports team sending him something in the mail. Except, only better. Yeah, that's right, the guy that went through all that end up getting the fate of all fools exotic scout rifle which that's coming here soon around the trials of osiris so you can just imagine how excited her husband was when he heard that he was getting the fate of all fools she said she had the extreme pleasure of sitting next to him with her ipad just so she could read all the replies of her post together not a single comment was missed on her post and she read them all and she had said every single one of you contributed to his glowing happiness and of course to mine thank you that's what she wrote guys and it's pretty powerful and it's awesome to see this going around the destiny community and i thought you guys would like to know this you can actually get this weapon from an exotic bounty called an unknown patron and the steps in the exotic bounty to get the fate of all fools you'll have to win five crucible matches to obtain an invitation bring the invitation to the bounty tracker to obtain the first test perform feats of skills in the crucible to complete the first test return to the bounty tracker to obtain the second test you will then have to trade Motes of Light for Osiris coins. Use the coins to compete in the Trials of Osiris. If you lose three times, you will need to buy another coin. With 10 wins on a single coin, or 25 wins in total in the Trials of Osiris, you will be able to complete the second test. And that right there gives away that this might be coming when the Trials of Osiris comes. You will have to return to the Bounty Tracker to obtain the third test. And for the third test, you will have to perform kills, headshots, and killing sprees with any scout rifle in the crucible to complete it. Once you completed that, you'll return to the bounty tracker to a finally obtain Fate of All Fools. And also, the wife decided to leak images of what the Fate of All Fools looks like, so now we have a sneak preview of what this exotic scout rifle is going to look like. As you can see, it looks like it has 7 magazine size. Yeah, that's not incredible, but it also has a perk that you can unlock called Extended Mag, which that will increase your magazine size. And not to mention what's special about the Fate of All Fools, the actual special perk for the Fate of All Fools is called the Fate of All Fools. What this does is it says chain body shots to gain bonus damage on your next precision shot. So that's awesome because we don't always hit criticals. So that means every time that we miss and don't hit a critical, it'll be bonus damage for the next time we do hit a critical. And also this weapon causes solar damage. It's going to be an amazing scout rifle guys and I cannot wait to play with this. But anyways, that's about wrapping up this video, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you have, please remember to leave a simple like. It helps out the video a lot. And not to mention, it helps motivate me more than you think. But I'm out of here. Thanks to everyone for watching. And most importantly, thank you all for your time. Peace.
What's going on guys? It's your rifle here and in this video I have you a hilarious glitch. I'm going to give you a little preview of this glitch before I demonstrate on how to do it. So let's begin.